Hi, I'm Mike and welcome back to Leppelstadt Crafts. Today I'm at the Rochester and Genesee Valley Railroad Museum with the President, Otto. My name's Otto Vondrak and I'm the President here at the Railroad Museum. How are you doing today? Uh, great, uh, we're having a lot of fun. We're here today at the North Pole and uh, we're doing our uh, first weekend of Santa train ride. Do you do this every year? And if so, when do you do it? Yeah, we do it every year, usually the first two weekends in uh, December, usually a Friday and Saturday combination. And we run uh, four trains. We bring people up to visit with Santa and Mrs. Claus and uh, we give them a fun train ride and uh, you know, get to celebrate the holiday season a little bit. And how long have you been with the museum? I've been volunteering at the museum probably off and on for the last 25 years since I was a student at RIT. And what have you seen uh, before and what do you see now and how has the museum changed? A, a lot has changed, uh, mostly just the way we do business, the way we operate our trains. We're running more trains more often. We're using more of our collection of historic trains. We're able to rotate through the collection and give people different rides on different pieces of equipment. We do more special events. Uh, it's pretty much just an evolution, just building and changing it up every year a little bit based on what we learn. But uh, it's been 25 years of steadily increasing our business and just seeing what works and brings people out. And if somebody's visiting the museum, what are they gonna be able to see? So normally when they come visit the museum, the train ride starts at our uh, industry depot, which was built by the Erie Railroad in 1909. And you get to purchase your tickets from our fully restored depot, wait in the waiting room. There's exhibits for you to look at while you're waiting for the train. Train ride brings you uh, up into the woods, then we reverse direction, bring you to our upper yard. You get to tour our exhibits and trains that are in the upper yard, and also get a little behind the scenes tour of our restoration shop. What are you currently working on in the restoration shop? Uh, a bunch of projects we have, and we're heading into the winter season, so we're kind of combining our indoor activities, but we are working on the rebuild and repair of uh, Rochester Gas and Electric Number no. 8, which is a General Electric 110-ton switcher, uh, diesel switcher. We're rebuilding the diesel engines and also the brake systems. Uh, we have a Baltimore and Ohio caboose that we are uh, completely gutting and rebuilding, uh, restoring that as well, doing a lot of steel repair and wood repair. We have a Alco diesel locomotive that's in for just winter maintenance. And uh, we have Rochester Subway Car 60. It's also getting a full rebuild and restoration, doing a lot of steel work there. We're actually putting a whole new steel roof on it right now as we speak. So some of the people that watch are from the Rochester Railroad. Can you tell a little history of that car? Sure, Rochester Subway operated uh, in the Bay of the Erie Canal from 1926 through 1956. And um, uh, when the subway shut down, uh, we were able to get one of the 12 subway cars that was running um, donated to our museum in 1956. We didn't have a place to uh, display it yet, so we were able to bring it back to us in 1998. Ever since, it's been under restoration, uh, a lot of fundraising going on. Uh, when we got the car, it was completely whole, but we realized there's a lot of metal repairs to do. We had to strip the car down completely, remove all the wood components, um, rebuilding the steel body. Once we get the steel body rebuilt, we can go back, put the wood parts on, start putting the windows and doors, and actually make it look like a subway car again. And how long do you think that's gonna take? Uh, we've been steadily working on this over the last several years, breaking it down into each component project. So one year it was uh, rebuilding part of the body panels. Next year it's been doing the roof. Um, recently we discovered one of the truck bolsters that attaches, it's how the wheel sets connect to the body. Uh, we had to completely rebuild one of the bolsters. So that was one of our projects this fall. So it's just, we've been breaking it down into components and we're hoping within the next five or six years, we'll be able to display the car and then even maybe even tow it around the museum with a diesel. And then maybe in the future, maybe even run it under electricity again. How many volunteers are at the museum? Uh, on any given day, we have anywhere from a dozen to 20 volunteers working on various projects. Um, we have so many people working in so many different areas from woodworking to metalworking, electricians, uh, people who want to learn about trades. Uh, some people just jump right in and they're like, hey, how do I work on this locomotive? How do I restore a freight car? How do I do metalworking? Uh, just all sorts of things like that. So some of our people are retired tradespeople and some of our people are um, just volunteers looking to learn. How can somebody volunteer for the museum? Uh, anyone can come and volunteer. Uh, we do like you to join as a member after a while to get you on the insurance, but we're usually at the museum every Tuesday and Saturday working on a variety of projects. You can contact us through our website or you can uh, just show up on uh, Tuesday or Saturday and come join the fun. We'll give you a tour. Uh, if somebody wants to visit the museum, what, what are your hours and days? We're usually open May through October, uh, most Saturdays. You can find our schedule and tickets on our website, rochestertrainrides.com. 
Well, Otto, thank you very much for your time. Thanks for coming to visit us. This is great. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so this is the Rochester and Genesee Valley Railroad Museum. Come and visit when you have a few minutes. We hope to see you soon. All, right. All aboard for the North Pole.